we gonna learn how to tie a tie today. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna take your tie, you wanna drape it over your shoulders. You got the chunky side, and you got the skinny side. That's what I like to call it. The fat, thin, chunky, skinny, whatever, same thing. This next step is critical because it can make or break the tie. You wanna pull the chunky side all the way down until the skinny side is up. The reason why you do this is because it determines how long your tie is gonna be. And the Air Force regulation says that the chunky side has to at least touch the tip of the belt buckle, but it can't exceed the bottom of the belt buckle. So you got about that much room to play with. That's why I say this is really critical in determining where your sweet spot is. So the next thing you wanna do is make an X. You wanna bring the skinny side up underneath and the chunky side over the top. You also want to determine which hand is going to be holding the tie throughout the entire process and which hand is going to be moving the tie. I usually use my left hand to hold, my right hand to move. That's me. So once we have the X, you're going to take the chunky side and you're going to bring it through the hole that you've made with the X, like so. Boom, just like that. And if you guys look, you have a front side of the tie and you have a back side of the tie. When you come through that hole, you should see the front side of your tie. And once you're here, you're going to bring the chunky side through the back of that X you created, like so. And I like to just drape it over my shoulder like that. Once you're here, you're gonna take the chunky side, you're gonna bring it around, but you're gonna go back through that X that you created earlier, like so. Now, you see the back of my tie. The whole time, the hand holding this tie is keeping everything tight. Not too tight, but also not too loose. So you should be looking like that now. Once you're here, you're gonna take the chunky side and you're gonna bring it back around the front like that. This time you don't go through the X that you created. You can actually just drape that over your right shoulder like so. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take the chunky side and you're gonna bring it back through that hole. Watch this. Now we have the chunky side and we just put it through the little knot that we just created. Gonna slide it on down, pull it through, just like so. And that is how you create a Windsor knot. Now, you're just gonna have to play with it to get your knot to look pretty. You're gonna have to pull on these sides and also pull down on the chunky side just to tighten it up and get that knot to look real pretty. Now you take the skinny side and you just pull that knot on up. Boom. Then you fold over your collar Make sure you don't make sure you can't see the tie when you fold the collar over. You don't want that tie to be seen. You want to center it, get it all nice and pretty in there. It's really, this is really hard to do in this camera to really see. You don't want to have it too tight. This thing feel like a little miniature baby's choking you all day. Then you want to take the skinny side and on the back of my tie, I got this little holder right here. I'm gonna slide the skinny side through. Let's see where that is for my belt buckle. So in the position of attention. Another thing I like about this knot is you can just pull it out when you're done. You can bring it over your head. Leave it like that. The next time you're ready to put this tie back on, you don't even have to tie it again. You just pull on the little skinny side. Boom. Just like that. You got that knot. That knot can last you for a long time. And if you want to look real professional, you can get yourself a tie tack or a tie class. It has to have the wing, it has to have the star, or it can have your rank on it. And then you want to position it in between the bottom of the tip of your tie and the bottom of your knot. It has to be right in the center. So you find that, slide it on through. I think that's about right. Boom. Ah. Like I say, it's gonna take you some time just playing with it, trying to get the length right. While you're doing that, if you wanna learn how to manage your money, you can watch this video on the screen. But like I always say, I hope this video brought value to you. Stay beautiful, stay classy, and until next time, check me out.